Hey everybody, it's Ad the Red, and welcome back to Shining Song Star Nova. Right then, last we left off, oh, heavy things uh, unlock memories of brutal murder, childhood trauma, betrayal, etc. And now, apparently, well, just to add insult to injury, a little salt in the wound, bad press. Although that's kind of putting it very lightly, but, you know, I don't want to focus on that any more than A2 because the game's going to do that for me. <laughs> uh, uh, take a sip of tea before we let the pain commence. Not so much commences continue, really. Yeah, yeah. Maria put down the magazine bearing a two-page spread of me holding back Nemo and she snarled the cameras of blood in her eyes. Psychotic breakdown when false life exposed. Akimoto Nemo, the love child of former idol Ueda Senna. Maria crumpled to the floor. Uh-oh. Yeah. Just when, just when it looked like we were going somewhere, the scandal had to break. <laughs> it's only a matter of time where they start digging at the skeletons in our closets. The only thing the mass media is capable of doing in this country is making mountains out of molehills and spinning every little event into the scandal of the century. I don't even think want to think about this about me. In light of the crisis, I had converted an emer uh, convenient emergency meeting to discuss our response to the scandal. However, seeing the faces of my talents only drove home the severity of the situation. Maria was crumpled on all fours on the floor while Sasami was sniffling beside the bamboo tree in the corner of the office as if she was the one being vilified with the press. Meanwhile, Aki sat, uh, sat on the desk while scrolling through her cell phone, surveying the extent of the damage on social media. It was a job fit only for the one with the thickest skin out of all the girls, and for that we were all extremely grateful for our resident shitposting lolly. Yeah, let's not go into why she has such thick skin and uh, the fact that she really shouldn't have it because the fact that she shouldn't have had to go. Uh, you know what? I'm just uh, mm. talk about revisiting pain. However, the white look on her face and her trembling hand left no question as the virtual riot that was occurring right now. It's really unfair. Yeah, yeah, it is. Whatever Nemanema's parents might have done in the past is none of her fault, but. Why is it bad mothering her as if she's the one responsible for everything? Because there's a lot of people out there with no sense. Too much time in their hands and nothing better to do. And this is how they make themselves feel good by bringing other people down. Yeah, it is messed up. Yeah, it's really messed up. People aren't acting right. Uh, th 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 there, there. Oh, you're trying, Julie. That's nice. Well, such a charm. You know... Whenever someone gets popular, you end up with a bunch of haters who are just jealous to made it big. So whenever a celeb falls on her ass, you get a mob of people fixing to get on your case for no apparent reason. Don't worry. As soon as the next big scandal breaks, they'll just move on to shit on the next poor sap that happens to get picked up by the media. Eh, it's not the end of the world. Don't cry, Sister John. Shh. Aw, you're actually helping. That, that's sweet. Hey, wait. Why the hell am I even comforting you and you're not even involved in this? Okay. You know, for a split second, you kind of went selfless and were doing something nice. And then all of a sudden, like, you're not the center of attention for this. Why am I proper to she, she clearly needs uh, you know, some comfort. Just fight. <sighs> Don't tell me this is just because the Cinderella is coming out, please. Nemo, Nemo, you feeling okay? It looks like the reporters really had a number on you at the hospital there. Ellipses. I apologize for my unsightly display, everyone. When I came to, I did not know what had happened. and My outrage may have gotten the best of me. Is it a natural? If it had been any one of us in your shoes, you probably would have reacted the same way. Maria's right. None of this is Nemo, Nemo's fault. It's the reporters that are at fault. Seriously, barge into the room and it injure a girl like that. My folks always did say to take everything in the papers with a pinch of salt. That's not what that says. Now hold on just a moment here. Occupy the down her cell phone and stood. 
I'm sorry to burst your little feel good session here, but none of this is going to work out so easily. The media is having a field day with this story, and it's only going to get worse from here on out. So far, it's only the tabloids in on it, but it's only a matter of time until the next, until the mainstream media starts poking around. After all, this isn't just a little idle sex scandal, but an attack on the reputation of two big industry executives. Honestly, given the stakes here, I suspect that whoever broke this story wasn't even after Nemanemu, but was looking to embarrass her parents. Seriously? Shit, then could we we be in the middle of something really big here? I wouldn't be surprised in the least. But my point is that we're not going to be able to lie low for a bit and expect the story to blow over. They're going to be talking about this for months. This raid is going to be a permanent scorn in the face of Sarnova. No way! Oh, <laughs> what are we going to do? Isn't it obvious? Nemanem is at a step down as Zenner Starnova. Aki's words finally crystallized what everyone else was thinking. And for the first time, not one of them wished to be at the, uh, the center of Nemo's place. And we only wanted to survive this ordeal. And the best way to accomplish that was to simply remove the one being attacked by the media from the spotlight. aki you, you can't say that right in front of Nemanem like that. Seriously, you never give up, do you? Unfortunately, I'm not saying that I'm qualified to replace her. But it still has to be done. Or else there won't be a Starnova for Nemo to be the center of. Uh, do you think so too, producer? Uh, everyone, I'm sorry as well for getting blindsided by this. I've been aware of Nemo's past for a while now, but it never occurred to me it could come to back to bite us like this. I've let you all down. I apologize. I bowed down to the girls, legitimately frustrated at myself for not having seen this coming. What should I have been doing all this time? The girls trusted me as a producer, and I have dropped the ball so badly. As for the center position, it's still too soon to call. Maybe some of the big scandal might break and distract the media. Maybe Nemanema's fans might see reason once the initial drama's faded. I'm sorry, everyone, but give me some time to come to a decision. This sounds right. Let's not make any hasty decision just because we're stressed out. That'll just make the situation worse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But one thing is clear. Given the circumstances, we won't have to postpone our anniversary live. I... yeah. Right now, our fans are upset with us. At this rate, if we try to hold a lie, all that's gonna happen is we'd be booed off the stage. At best. N no way, but if the live's not on the date of our debut live, would it really be an anniversary live anymore? Uh, I see what you're saying, Producer Son, but, uh, like, wouldn't that be seriously bad for you? Aww. It's majorly bad. The venue, the equipment, the contractors, and who knows what else have already been paid for. Not only that, we'd probably have to refund all the ticket sales, too. Oi, oi, oi Producer. Can we, re can we really survive a huge financial hit like that on top of, er on top of everything? I'm sorry. The mood reached absolute rock bottom. This simply shall not do. I refuse to accept the postponing of the anniversary live. Everyone has worked hard to make it a reality. You say it'll be postponed, but in reality, we don't even know if we'll ever be able to hold into the live, do we? Is Starnova really going to end? Ellipses. Further ellipses. Everything is her doing. Harna's is the one behind all this. Nemu, but why would she? She had no choice. Last night I saw Kamajo in Harna's office. I heard as clearly as day. Uh, clear as day. Kari-chan's transfer to Starnova is actually a trap. She's been sleeping with a fan ever since her father got arrested. Kamajo was planning to reveal the truth right after we announced her transfer at the end of her anniversary live. Now that their secret's been exposed, they had no choice but to use the nuclear option. All to silence me, and then Starnova. Yikes. I feel like I've just stepped into a conspiracy way above my head. But knowing that guy Kamajo, it could all be real. Why didn't Nemu add on that 
Kamejo is also apparently have well the uh, Harn is having an affair with Kamejo. I mean it's not attached to the main issue there, but it is connected and could be a this is also happening sort of thing. I don't know. It's true, isn't it? All this is a plan to ruin Star Nova. Yeah. Have we been played, Bikun? Everyone, I know it's tough, but let's not jump to conclusions. I can only play. I, I can only play the only move I had left. You know, they calm the girls down and try tackling the problem after having conducted a more thorough investigation. Right now, everyone's stressed out. We're going to be jumping at shadows at this rate. In this situation, I'm sure you girls can understand the kind of pressure Kari Chan must be under thanks to her own scandal. Let's not add to her worries by making accusations unless we have evidence. After all, that Kamejo guy is a real piece of scum. Who knows whether he was telling the truth about Kari Chan or if it's just another one of his machinations. I, I suppose producer's right. <laughs> As expected, a black knight. Too much faith, but I mean, sure. It's true. We mustn't suspect that new Kohai of such terrible things without hearing it from herself. Ellipses. Once again, he's taking someone else's side. I mean, you didn't exactly make the best impression. I will say that much. Ugh. Just, just all of this. All of this is just folding in on itself from so many different angles. I swear I'll get to the bottom of this. Once I've gotten the facts, we can decide what to do together. You should at least talk to Nam about what she just said at a vote, rather than just basically throwing out her um, her testimony there. I mean, you didn't completely negate it, but you basically circumvented it and kind of ignored it. With that, I dismissed the obviously exhausted looking girl for the day. I escorted them out from the wall of paparazzi lurking outside and booked them all into hotel rooms, thus the media set up camp at their private residence as well. Yeah. Uh, the days pass and no improvement to our predicament. In fact, the situation only further de deteriorated. KP Ling contacted me the other day with considerable anger about how the deal with Nemo had turned out. Putting it lightly, I now had the potential way to, I now had the way to a potential lawsuit for fraud hanging from my neck. And if that's what well, wasn't the worst set of I was receiving cancellations and complaints from all of the other girls' clients left and right as well. I was barely staying above the waterline, just calming the few clients willing to support us. In the end, there was no use mincing words. This was a clusterfuck. In front of me was a box filled with torn up Nemo posters and shattered to start over CDs. Some clever hater had the run idea of having it shipped to our office. That's not clever, that's just petty. Tch, some fucking fan he was. Turning tail and backstabbing his own she had just a slightest sign of trouble. Not to mention, apparently, having paid for a bunch of shit and then destroying it. It's, it's like... The only person you're actually hurting in all this is yourself. <laughs> there just wasn't a shred of loyalty to be found today, Sotaku. At this rate, holding the anniversary live really did seem impossible. Okada Sensei came into the office. I'm sorry about all that trouble, Sensei. No, no, these things simply happen from time to time. I hate to burden you further, but it seems that the people at Summon Music want to meet us. Of course, not that everything was going down the chute, so it was only natural that our powerful industry sponsor wouldn't have a word of this as well. We are now producing Sun, no idle management company, a stranger to manufactured public outcries of this. Let us go together and lay our sponsor's concerns. Of course, at once. I picked up my coat and headed out with Akata Sensei. The girls sat gathered in the dance studio, suddenly finding themselves without jobs and little motivation to practice. Yeah, can't blame them there. That, uh... All the weight on their shoulders probably just feels like they're being, being squeezed out of them like a press. Ugh. It doesn't take care of it, but it just seems like things are getting worse for the day. 
my, my client said he doesn't really want to see me anymore. I don't know what's wrong with, that, with everyone. All of a sudden, they're treating it on like crud. At this rate, we might have to all start working in hostess bars. Uh, not like we're blaming Nemo Nemo. Tell me about it. Uh, it just goes to show you this. Uh, you can't count on your fans for anything. Just a tiny little scandal gets blown out of portion with the media and everyone turns into a dime. So, what do we do? Uh, she's got murder eyes. Everything was Haran is doing. It's all because I found out. The girls all exchange worried looks with each other. Yeah. Now, now, Nemo Nemo, let's not... Hey, don't you guys hate me now? Uh, why, why would we... After all, it's my fault the rest of you lost their jobs. Aren't you always waiting for me to fall so that you can be the sinner? Hey, that's not how it is at all. Look, we were just kidding. Hey, Aki, tell Nemo Nemo you're just joking. Uh-oh. Well, I'm not saying I'm particularly qualified to be the sinner. But Nemo Nemo stepping down is the easiest way to solve this. That's just what this industry is. Life ain't gonna hand you anything on a silver platter. Not even a drop of happiness. Now, it's not the time to be a shit lolly, you runt. Can't you read the mood here? Maria grabbed Aki with a scruff of her neck and began to grapple with her. <laughs> what are you two doing? There's no time to be fighting. Just tie her up by her, pig her twin tails. And yeah, Julie threw herself into the fray ostensibly to pull the two apart. Hey, you want to fight? You want some? Uh-oh. The girl's panic and pinked up stress spilled over, sending the one squeeze of team into a shoving and shouting match. Hey, don't push us. Seriously. Saggy tits, saggy tits. Oh, you're not helping. You really aren't helping. You sound way too calm, which is actually a bit dangerous. What are you doing, everyone? It's a rumble! It's a rumble! Grab the torch! Grab the pitchfork! Hey, oh, did you break something? Or did, you, did you break or something? The sound of loud clapping in the girls tangle. Ladies, what are you doing? Conduct yourselves! Kodama barge into the studio. Your producer has left to convince Soul Music not to abandon this unit, and this is how you repay his hard work. Kari poked her head into the dance studio before slowly walking in. Senpai, look at a fool you've made yourselves into in front of your kohai. I brought Kaori Chan in with me so we can hold a uh, joint practice session. Come on, get changed, ladies. Trouble or no trouble, we're going to proceed with the plan and assume Kaori Chan's transfer will occur as agreed upon. The girls did not budge from their spots. Everyone avoided eye contact with Kaori. But you know, why do we got to practice with her? Julie Chan. We said we weren't going to suspect her of anything, didn't we? Tch. All right, people, let's get a move on on it. Into your jerseys. This guy's got a point. We're just wasting our time arguing. Nemo-chan, can you be a deer and go upstairs to Kari chan and find her a training jersey? Uh-oh. Not, 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 oh. Uh, of course. I'm going to call this here then, because this is going to go well. It can only go well. <laughs> so, uh, well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Uh.